Hello, hello, hello there. Welcome back to Grandma Ray Don't Play. And I'm Rachel. So I'd like to show you how to make some penny pasta. We're going to layer it up. We're going to have a layer of the uh, pasta, a layer of corn, a layer, layer of ground beef uh, with some tomato sauce and um, some cheese. Oh, just imagine everything. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Okay, give it a thumbs up if you like it. Share the video and subscribe, would you? All right, you want to get started? Thumbs up, thumbs up. Let's get started. Okay, thanks. Okay, in this pot back here, I have our water boiling for our pasta. So let's get started on cooking the ground beef. So I'm going to put some olive oil in here. I have about, I'd say, three-fourths of a pound of ground beef. All right, so before I put the ground beef in, I want to put some garlic in. This is uh, chopped up garlic. That's about a tablespoon. That's good. One tablespoon of garlic chopped garlic. If you don't have chopped, you can use your cloves and cut it up yourself. And I have about one, two, three tablespoons of cut up onions. We're going to just let that brown. Got a big piece there. I got it out. Okay. Other things that we're going to start adding is I'm going to put this Flavor Mate Original. It has some of everything in it. You guys should try it. You're going to like it. Onions, black pepper, celery seeds, um, mustard, cayenne pepper, carrots, garlic, oh, lemon uh, oil. Okay, I'm going to put this on top of the ground beef. And some on the onions and garlic. Okay, now I'm going to also add some onion powder, on granulated onion. Because I want to bring the flavor of the onions up. I have nothing in my water, just the water. But I would like to add some olive oil. Some people don't add it to theirs, I add it to mine. And the reason why people say that they don't add it to theirs, they say it, um, that the sauce don't stick to the pasta. I don't find that to be the case with me. Okay, so this is a half a box of whole grain penny pasta. So we're going to put that in. And that oil is going to help the pasta from sticking. Okay, my oil is running out. I'm going to add some more. Now we're going to add the hamburger. Add a little oil on top of the hamburger, just a little. There we go. Excuse me. Okay, I'm back. I want 
want to stir up the pasta. Okay, you see how I'm pushing down on the hamburger? That is to make sure that the part that uh, wasn't cooked is getting cooked. So I can, when I push down on it, I can see, I'm not pushing hard that I take the juice out, but just enough so I can see the middle color. So if it's pink, I know I need to flip that part more. Okay, we're done that quick. See? It doesn't take long for ground beef to cook. Okay, the ground beef is done. I'm going to drain this um, oil off so that I'm left with just the ground beef. Give me a second. Okay, so the pasta's been cooking for about 12 minutes. It has doubled in size. You see that? So I'm going to pour it off into a strainer. I'm going to run cold water on it. The cold water is to stop the action, stop the cooking. And now we're going to, uh, actually we're going to layer up uh, our dish now, okay? Let me get my pan. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to season up the pasta. Okay. I'm putting it in like this so that I don't get no excess water. See, I didn't want that little water there. We don't need that. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is season the pasta because, you know, pasta's bland, so we got to bring something to the table. So I'm going to add some garlic and herb to the pasta. Lots of it. Black pepper. I'm sorry, I didn't show you the garlic and herb. Garlic and herb. So the first one I used on the ground beef was original. This one is garlic and herb. My two best friends. Okay, black pepper on here. And some onion, granulated onion. Okay, let's mix that up. Okay, now I'm looking for, uh, and I don't see what I'm looking for. All right, I'll skip that. So now I want to season up the tomato sauce, okay? So we're going to add some grated uh, cheese blend. If you don't have this and you have Parmesan cheese, it's okay. Add that to the mix. 
and some Italian seasoning. All right. So now let's mix this in. All right, we're gonna add the sauce right to the bottom of the pan. This is the pan that I'm using. Okay, now that I have the bottom of the pan coated uh, with the sauce, now we're gonna add some pasta right over the sauce. like so. Okay, now I want to add some cheese. Let me wash my hands. I have some sharp cheddar cheese. I put the cheese right over the pasta. Save some for the top because you need the cheese on the top. Okay, now I'm going to add my ground beef on top of the cheese. And let me make sure you can see. Okay, let me show you what that looks like. Okay, now we're going to add some corn. Well, before I add the corn, I want to put some sauce over the ground beef. Okay, now I want to add the corn. Okay. And on the corn, I want to add just a little more cheese because I want the cheese to stick to that corn. Oh, what a flavor when cheese is combined with corn. Oh, I love it. I only need a little to make it stick. Now I have some cilantro. We need a little herb in there. I'm going to put the cilantro right on the top there.
So you see you got your, your sauce, you got your pasta, your cheese, your corn, your ground beef. Oh, all in one. Pasta beef layers. How about that? You like that? I do. Look at that. Okay, now we're going to cover the top with cheese and then it's going in the oven. That pasta there I'll save for a soup or something. I don't need it. So I started out with a half a bag of pasta so you could, not bag, half a box of penny pasta. So you can see I could have used just one fourth. But don't worry, I got an idea for the balance of that pasta. Make sure you try to cover all the cilantro. As much as you can. There we go guys. Okay, so we're going to put this in the oven on 400 degrees uh, until the cheese, actually I think I would like to change that. I want to put it on at 350 because I want the middle to heat up before the cheese actually brown on the top. Okay, alright, so we're going to cook it on 350 until um, the cheese brown. Okay. Thanks. I'll be back with the word of the day. Okay, guys. I'll layer it. Beef, pasta, um, tomato sauce, uh, cilantro, herb, corn is out. And I gotta name. I gotta cut that down short and name it something short. But this is the delicious. Gotta be delicious, guys. I had it before. You're gonna love it. So let me taste it for you. Oh, wait. I also gotta give you the word of the day. Okay, before I, I taste our delightful dish, the word of the day. Always. Well, you complete the sentence. It could go something like this. I always eat out when I get paid. I always go on vacation at least once or twice a year. I always call my girl. I always cook for my husband. I always pray before I eat. Okay, wonderful. Good job. You are a creature of habit. But you know what? It's a new day in time. It's 2021. Maybe you're not going to always be able to do some of those things. Like take a trip. I think you could count that one out because it's not a safe time to do it, right? So you see where I'm coming from with the always, right? So think about all your always and see. Have life changed? And if life have changed, accept it. Because it's not always going to be this way either. Always. That's the word of the day. Okay. Here's our scrumptious dish. Look at that. 
Oh, what an eyeful, right? Let's taste. Can't wait to taste it. Mmm. Wow. You know the herbs brought something to the table. I like the cilantro in, in the uh, dish. Wow. I'm going to enjoy that, guys. Okay, give it a thumbs up. Give it two thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up now. Share, share the video and subscribe, would you please? I look forward to serving you next time. Be blessed.